There are some pretty significant advantages driving around a one ton size truck with single rear tires, meaning you have two tires in the back instead of four like a dually. But if you are towing stuff like this or like this big boat and you're towing in even a moderately high wind like that flag back there represents you, and you think you need dually, you probably do because you're experiencing left right sway in the trailer in your in your payload and your and what you're towing and that's unbelievably not safe and it's really annoying especially when you're trying to do things like read text oh wait nobody nobody reads text while driving so you have a couple options you actually kind of sort of have three options here this is my daily driver straight out of detroit with or kentucky or wherever this thing was made with two tires in the front two tires in the back now you could trade this in Go buy a different truck and get rid of this one. Or maybe you're at a financial standpoint where you can just go buy two trucks. This is straight out of Kentucky or Detroit, whatever. Came straight from Ford with four tires, four tires in the back, two on each side, and a single in the front, obviously. You can just go buy another truck and have it or swap out your truck and have the dually. Or you can, like all the Wiener Boys on Facebook will tell you, if you want the dually, just swap the axle, bro. No problem. And they'll give you that advice because they're thinking with their butt, not their head. And they're not opening their wallet. They're just telling you what to do with your money. Yes, you can swap the axle onto your other truck. There are some things you got to look for. If if you, you got a pickup style truck with the little bend in the frame, you have to, on a Ford at least, you have to go get a dually that is a pickup truck style with the bend in the frame a straight frame cabin chassis style the axle the spring perches are welded onto the axle in a different location they're narrower narrower they will not work on a pickup style so therefore you got to go search hunt down the actual pickup style dually which can be a pain in the ass and like i i was on this search for a long time trying to do exactly this try to swap the rear axle I popped open the diff cover at a junkyard and water poured out. And most of these trucks, it's gonna be really impressive if you find a truck at a junkyard with less than 250, 350, 400,000 miles on it. If you find a truck at a junkyard with less than that, you're doing good already. And then you gotta think, why did the original owner have this, why did they buy a dually in the first place? They didn't buy a dually and it's now sitting at the junkyard worn out in other departments of the truck because the owner didn't tow didn't haul so you got to figure your single rear axle truck probably had a little gentler life especially if maybe you knew the owner like say it was your grandpa and he just you now are the recipient of his truck you have your single rear tire truck that is in good shape and you want to convert it to dual for your anti-sway factor now you're going to go put a worn out beat to death axle on there oh wait all the little wiener boys on Facebook will tell you, just update the brakes, bro. Just do, just get all the new axle bearings and seals, bro. Well, that's cost. That's That can be a lot of cost and time. And then if your truck's four-wheel drive like mine, and this truck comes with 373 gears, this dually truck has 410s or 411s. Now you're not just doing bearings and brakes and all that. Now you're changing gears. And that is not something you can just do in your backyard on a picnic table. You actually need to get those, the gears uh, meshed right. Otherwise, you'll have all kinds of metal wearing problems in, internally inside your diff. So now you're talking two axles. You need the front matching to the rear matching four-wheel drive axles. And a lot of the axles I saw on eBay and such and at the junkyard, they wanted $1,800 to three grand for just one. Now you're buying two. Start, things are starting to get pricey for your, your sway uh, confidence issues that you might be experiencing like I did with the boat and I had a camper, a truck mounted camper on the back. So I had a lot of sway going on. So now you're getting two axles and I don't care what you say, but when you start swapping front axles to front axles, it works, but now you, you need to get a front end alignment. It will not be the same. No matter what somebody tells you, you're going to have to get an alignment, more cost. And then, uh, the, the front the the front axle on a dually though it does allow you to run ford factory dually axles because as a spacer whereas the single front axle is not so in my case and maybe in your case getting a dually conversion kit 
spacer, adapter, whatever you want to call it, might be the answer. We actually bought a truck a while back that had a dually conversion kit on it, and it fell apart on the freeway. It was terrible. So I definitely had a bad taste in my mouth, and the first time I ever learned about dually uh, conversion kits was in, in a GSC Whitney magazine when I was like eight. I don't know why my dad wanted one on his van, but he did. But over all the years of research on this, I net, this is the first time I've done it. I chose Aerocraft products. I actually found them on a Facebook 7.3 group. They're out of Royal Oak, Michigan. Everyone in Michigan always compares the state of Michigan to their hand. Maybe that's where the statement, I know like the back of my hand comes from, but the X represents where Royal Oak is. And that was the best toilet I could draw in my hand to represent where Detroit is. So that's where Royal Oak is. It comes to you in a box. They were incredibly knowledgeable. They actually sent me a little sidebar set of instructions that's specifically to what I asked them about a two inch spacer for extra wide tires. We're not gonna get into that now. Duels with extra wide tires. That was my specific application I asked for. They sent me a little sidebar instruction memo on that. The instructions that it comes with, probably the that every set comes with super easy if you can put ikea furniture together you can definitely do this uh the lug nuts that are on here they are one and a 16th or uh 27 millimeters the same they actually come on the adapter pretty snug i had to use a redneck socket set to get them off so once you get your single rear tire off like that one like that's a single rear tire with this we'll call it straight wheel I'm, I can't I can't expect people, or here's the other single rear, I can't expect people to know the difference between concave and convex. So we'll say bowl in and bowl out. Uh, it The spacer allows you to put your duals on, which on this side I have it on already. The first one, because it, it, pushes, it pushes the point that the studs will mount up to the face of the bowl in tire it pushes out far enough that you can get past the brake caliper because if you try putting bowl in dual wheel on this, the, the bolt pattern will line up, but the inner part of the wheel will hit the brake caliper. You can't put this wheel on. Now I want to show you how the dually rear wheel bowl out will line up perfectly with the hub and the studs. You can get home on a dually rear wheel on a single rear truck. And now before I forget, I'm gonna have a set of Ford factory 16 inch dually rear wheels on this truck and Ford factory single rear wheel type on the front. Now think real hard, which tire I should keep as the spare. Should I keep a dually or a single rear type? You're gonna keep the single rear type on the truck because you only have two of those. Yes, you could play the whole swap game and really not even carry a spare. Because if you took, if you got a front and you take that off, you jack up the front, take that off, block it up, come to the back, take one of your back tires off, put it on the front. Yes, that works. But if you're going to carry a spare, make it easy on yourself. Carry the single rear style to put on the front. If you ever get a front flat tire and go about your business, if you get a du uh, flat on one of the duallys, then you can then you can just take one of the duallys off and get to where you need to go on one. So now the last couple things to note here is I know that this, the width of this flatbed is eight feet wide exactly. So if you line up this six foot level, there's a little space here that tells me I might need to put a little piece of rubber on the outside to be 100% DOT compliant whatnot in some type of communist state like the east coast and if you did not have if you did not have a flatbed box from a dually like i was ha was fortunate enough to get here then and you've got a regular pickup style bed your tires are going to stick much further out you got to consider that as well you're going to need some type of fender flare or go find a dually box or i suppose you could take just the fender flares off a dually box and mount them onto your single but i like I like this dually conversion adapter because what if I find a nice set of tires on Marketplace or Craigslist or a swap meet and they're four single style wheels with four nice tires on there and I don't want my duallys for whatever reason. I can just take all this off like Legos 
and put the single rear on. So that's a huge advantage of having the flatbed where I can do either and the adapter that I can do either. All right, just took it for about a three mile cruise down the freeway. Everything feels nice, tight, smooth. Uh, I did, I will follow the instructions and retorque everything with an actual torque wrench. But for right now, I use the German torque wrench, which is good and tight. And yeah, let's go for a little cruise here. 50, 60, 70. Yeah, she's nice and smooth. 75. Quite happy. And I gotta say, special thanks to the woman at, shut the radio off here. Special thanks to the woman at Aerocraft Products. She was incredibly full of knowledge and experience and uh, her advice was really good at how to put all this together. So I'm a currently satisfied customer, full review, couple hundred miles away, coming later, under 10 out.